Hi, my name is Sean McLaughlin. I'm the CEO of Airframes Alaska. We have a few planes for sale. Today I'm going to walk you around 5408 Yankee. Airframes Alaska purchased this aircraft in 2011. We've owned it for 10 years. Uh, we've had a lot of fun with it. We haven't put a ton of hours on it, but we've worked on a lot of our newer uh, products with this plane, and then we've used it for moose hunting every year. I'm going to walk you around the plane, show you the things we have on it, show you anything that's important, and then uh, we'll hope you, if you're interested in it, give us a call. So starting right at the back of the aircraft, it has a baby bush wheel on it. And coming up here, uh, no, no dings or scratches anywhere through here. We do have a patch here. So if you can see that patch, there's been one patch made for a rock hit. Uh, coming right along, uh, the aircraft's got upper baggage. You don't have to keep our logo if you want. Uh, storage in here, for, forward and aft. Also the ELT is mounted in here. This is an Airframes Alaska, uh, just a little bit of background I guess right now. It's an Airframes Alaska fuselage standard. This plane prior to our purchasing it was rebuilt entirely by Wick, Wick uh, Air. Uh, did a beautiful job on it. And then we purchased it from an older gentleman who's retiring. Um, we have upper, we have baggage. It's not the uh, Kavanaugh baggage, but it's the more standard baggage door. And we've got wood floorboards in it. And we've got the extended baggage going, going back aft. Down below, we've got the Alaska Bush Pod installed. And this is the certified version. Been used a lot. Um, continuing along, the plane has uh, pistol flaps installed. It was one of the first planes to have pistol flaps. Um, it has the aluminum, the new Airframes Alaska aluminum struts installed. And normally, right here is our Airframes Alaska gun boot. It's off because we're testing a new version of one right now. But uh, two things also to note this has the Whip Air 2,000 pound gross weight kit on it. The plane weighs 1,224 as of the installation of these uh, aluminum struts in May of last year. Uh, along these wings, uh, so you can get a sense of them. No damage, no damage. Um, the plane, many of you may know that I flipped this plane uh, in the last year, and this is the only remaining damage. Uh, my tendency is to leave one little cosmetic thing from each landing to remind me of what I did wrong, so I left a little dent right here, but otherwise this was all rebuilt. Um, moving right here, we have 31 inch bush tires on it. We've got uh, Airframes Alaska heavy duty suspension on it and we have the Burl's AOSS um, shocks on it as well as the Atlee Dodge, Dodge uh, check cables. While we're on this side, we'll look quickly at the, the doors are full glass so you get a sense of that. And then if you look inside, we got fancy seats. Again, it was owned by an older gentleman, a light cush. And then if you want to come back here, Ryan, you can take a look at the dash. There's a lot going on in this dash. Um, a significant amount of it I've never used, but uh, that's what you got there. Uh, inertial <laughs> harness rings on the, uh, inertial harness, harnesses on the front and rear seat. The rear one even has lamb's wool covers on it. Came with the plane. Uh, the, the other repair on the plane is right here. This fabric repair right here was done in order to fix this attach point which had been, had been damaged. So this is a repair right here below this window. Done by Kirk Ellis. Uh, here's the engine compartment. It's 160 horse. Moving right along. Uh, I also left the spinner unpainted as a reminder on my check when I do my pre-flight checks, but you can fix that or paint it if you want. And uh, brand new prop after the accident, so this prop has less than 10 hours on it, probably about 10. Uh, engine on this side.
Uh, we've got, uh, we installed one of these uh, makeup air pieces here, which I use quite a bit, kind of like that. On this side, we also have the Atlee Dodge um, hatchet installed on the gear. It's got me out of some good spots in the past. Moving right along. Um, uh, we, this thing has all the heavy duty hurricane tie downs in it and beef ups. It has eye rings for, for uh, picking it up in the air. Um, I think pretty good shape on this side. We replaced this aileron, so you'll notice the yellow's a slightly different because it's just been aged a little bit differently, but that's brand new. And again, back to pistol flaps. Um, now, also with the plane, if you want, we have the old struts if you want to keep some backup struts. We've got some old flaps if you want to keep backup flaps. This is the gun boot that's normally on it, right here, which comes with it. We also have, you know, if you want to pay more, you could, we have uh, full winter covers that match it, built for it. We've got 35s if you want to purchase those. And we also have air glass skis for it as well, including um, the Airframes Alaska ski drags already installed. So all of that for a charge in addition to the price of the plane uh, are available. Um, the, how, the plane's housed here in, in uh, Birchwood Airport in Chugiak, Alaska, uh, in one of our hangars. And if you have any questions, uh, look on the web and you can contact us to talk about anything else you need. Oh, I guess I'll just show you the logbooks quickly. These are the logbooks right here, so it's pretty, pretty well kept uh, and organized. Um, this plane has been sort of in and out of R&D category, so it gets reviewed quite a bit, so the logbooks are pretty tight. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Thanks.